Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. This is, I believe, I gotta double check, doing some thinking. Yes, this is the last of the 2021 Race Win Elites for the season. Now we still will have a couple of other ones to look at. Um, will we? We'll have a couple, I have a custom, not of anything in the Cup Series, I think it'll be truck anything. But anyway, this is the last of our 124th Elites in race version for the Cup Series. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird coming to that milestone as 2022 just ended. Uh, obviously making videos on all the stuff that comes in, but I just kind of realized as I got to this one that I'm kind of done for 2021. The whole season's wrapped up. So, um, you know, as we uh, get the last couple couple more, um, I guess, brought in and ready to uh, put in stock for the website, um, yeah, kind of a weird tie-up. But this will be the last one. Uh, this is Kyle Larson's 2021 charlotte roval win uh this was weirdly enough not the last race of the year the phoenix actually came out before a lot of other ones uh and this one did come out slightly before i think um bubba wallace's car but they were all so close together that um me making videos just got a little delayed so anyway guys let's go ahead though and get into it let's start with the box it is our standard elite box nothing crazy to see and the production number is 679 for the charlotte roval not abnormal um it's a little it's not really surprising that the Roval would have that many made because it is Charlotte, kind of a headquarters uh, there for race teams, uh, especially Hendrick Motorsports. Here you can see we've got Kyle Larson, Bank of America Roval 400 winner, Concord, uh, New North Carolina, October 10th, 2021. And there you see him standing with the trophy. And then we also do have the race win sticker here uh, in black and white. So we got that over there. And we also have the race... Uh, or the official event pin from the Bank of America Roval 400. So you can see the pin there. And I do have a couple of those on the website. Uh, three, I think I got five to be exact. So there are five of those sitting out there. But anyway, now that we've passed all the little trinkets and cards and junk, let's go ahead and take a look at the car. So going down the left side of the car, you can see we do have our standard HendrickCars.com paint scheme. Uh, you can see not too raced up on the front. He did have a, an issue early on in the race that we thought was going to be more severe than it was. Uh, it was actually a belt they had to change. Lost a ton of track position, but by the end of the race had been able to gain it all back. So, um, you know, I think at the end of the day, we all kind of know if nothing had happened uh, in the middle of stages of this race, um, you know, Kevin Harvick wrecking Chase Elliott, that was never going to... Um, you know, if, if he hadn't done that, the, the nine car was going to win this race. Um, but, hey, circumstances happen, and the five car's there to jump on it, just like Bristol. So, um, you know, as w I know a lot of people were surprised how few races Kyle Larson won this year, but at the end of the day, there were a lot of races last year that really did break his way. Um, just things went right, you know. He, he definitely had the fastest car at a lot of races, but there was a lot of execution that really helped him. Like I said, Bristol easily could have gone to Kevin or Chase, ended up coming to Larson just because of them having a, a pee and match, and and then same thing in this race, you know, definitely don't get me wrong, had to be fast, but had to have a couple of guys fall out too. So, uh, but anyway, you got these bright pink window net here. You can see we also had the bright pink spot up there on the front. You can see the window net is kind of just basically the regular window net dipped in paint. Uh, so you can kind of see where that paint's at. It looks pretty good, but I don't know. It looks a little weird. It looks plastic -y, like, I don't know. It looks weird. Uh, you do see the mirror up there on that post as well. There's our number five, HendrickCars.com, hiring technicians. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty clean. Not a lot of burnout marks, not a lot of donut marks. He did keep it pretty darn clean. Uh, we got our bright yellow playoff banner and spoiler, wind uh, shield wiper there. And then you can just see some basic uh, confetti here. Obviously, 2020 um, didn't have that much confetti. This one has a little bit more. 2019 was caked in confetti, uh, so that was nice. But yeah, this one... Uh, Still has some confetti, just not uh, a crazy amount. Uh, let's go to the back of the car here. We got HendrickCars.com. You can see a couple of little marks there on the rear bumper. Nations Guard on the deck lid. And then if you pop the deck lid open, which for some reason I can't. There we go. I guess I just need to use a fingernail. Uh, we do have our fuel cell and the tubes in the back there. Uh, we also do have Larson on the rear window. And then number is 256. Uh, as we move around to the right side, you can see a lot of confetti caked up on the top there. Hiring technicians. And then just you can see a couple rivets and a couple little specks of rubber. But otherwise, like I said, kept this car pretty darn clean. There's not a lot of spots on here uh, where the car is like clearly missing uh, or not missing detail, but clearly, you know, got raced around with. You can see the right front corner, very little markings on there, very little markings on the front, just very clean overall, kind of all around this car. So that's definitely uh, a bonus, um, you know, when you're looking at this car. Uh, roof laps do deploy there on the top. 
And then um, under the hood, uh, let's see if we can get this to pop open. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a little poke and prod. There we go. Pop on open, why don't you? There we go. All right, and then under the hood, you can see we got silver valve covers, and we do have the uh, radiator up front along with the different holes for the, um, for the plug wires. So those are there as well. Um, the other thing we do have on this car is, obviously, we pointed out the pink window net already once. Uh, we do have the arrow for the jack post, functioning rear suspension, and we do have the posable front wheels, so that's kind of the underneath detail with the metal chassis on these Elites, uh, which do look pretty darn good, but... Um, Anyway, that's really all there is to show on this car. It's actually pretty clean outside of the confetti. Um, you know, I definitely thought there was actually more raced version on a lot of other cars of his this year. Um, I would have thought the Roval would be a more raced version, but actually this Roval is, was pretty darn tame, at least for where he was at. Um, and he was able to obviously get that win. So uh, definitely not as much uh, race detail. We definitely have a little bit more on the confetti and the window net on this one. But still a good looking car. Still a pretty cool story. So uh, now that that is the last of the Kyle Larson cars, I can show all of his raced versions from that from the 2021 season. I think that'll be pretty cool. So can't wait to show you guys those. But uh, anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, turn on the bell and subscribe for more diecast content. Uh, but other than that, Oh, yeah, you can check these out at rasdiecast.com using the promo code RACECRAZE for 10% off. So, uh, outside of those shameless plugs, thanks for watching, guys. This has been RACECRAZE, and we will see you in the next Diecast Review.